you guys what's up welcome back to my channel I know you're catching me in like a weird in my robe I don't have my hair done just did my makeup still kind of tired from allergies in the morning but um, I haven't been on here for a while so I just wanted to pop on and tell you I'm gonna do a vlog this week because I think this week is gonna be full of some really fun fall type of things so I'm gonna show you around like the decoration I've done in my house and a few other things but um, I just wanted to first say before we get into the vlog that I've been away a little bit because I've started a decorating company and I'm so excited about that so in that theme of celebrating um, that I started this new company and also we hit 200 subscribers so thank you guys so much for subscribing um, I am going to show you around my house, do a tour of the fall decorations that I've done, and also bring you along a little bit for the week. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I know that um, the last time I filmed my hair, I think my hair was back. So I did cut my hair off and I dyed it dark. I do this about every five years. I um, will get my, you can kind of see the back of it in that mirror. Um, I will grow my hair out and it kind of gets longer and blonder as I grow it out. And then I will um, cut it this A-line short do and I keep this for a little while and then most likely I'll keep growing it out again so this is it just after it's been blow dried I just use my brush to kind of like make sure the under parts not going crazy or anything and then I just curl it under so I'm gonna do that and then I have to take Abby who's right here hi Abby <laughs> I have to take her to the groomer she hasn't been for a little while girl she needs it Okay, we're like running out of the house to um, take Abby to our groomers. This is a little bit better lighting so you can see my hairstyle now. Um, hope that was helpful if you have hair like this. Here's the little girl before her grooming appointment. <laughs> Here she is, cute little thing, but she's real fluffy. Her nails are long and she's shedding a lot, huh honey? So we gotta get her groomed. Let's go, come on. We just got home and this little girl looks so cute. Let me show you. What are you doing? Why are you laying in the grass like that? Huh? Why are you laying in the grass like that? You're so funny. Oh yeah, get all grassy since you just got groomed. <laughs> Crazy dog. Why are you the prettiest girl? You're so silly. She's got her false scarf on. Okay, so I'm in Marshalls and there are some really cute fall things and they also have Christmas stuff out. Look at all these pumpkins. Oh my gosh. I think I want this. It's so the next day Tuesday and I've just been uh, working around the house and working on my computer all day so I wanted to show you around the house the fall stuff that I promised you I would show you at the beginning of this video so let's get into it I'm excited to show you guys what I've done because this year it's a little bit different than before and yeah Okay, so first thing is my fire mantle. So I changed out the picture, so I need to do some touch-up paint up there. But um, I put this clock up. <laughs> I haven't said it yet. But, and then I did these candelabras with 
these pumpkins on them, which is a fun idea. This one, I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty like sparkly though, it's cute. And then I love Harry Potter and it totally reminds me of this time of year. So I put my Harry Potter books out and I just thought that was a fun touch. This little pumpkin is actually my grandma. She has, she's passed away, but I inherited this from her. So I put that out every year. And then this one I just actually got from Walmart, this pumpkin. Um, these vases I got from Marshalls along with, oh no, this really pretty leaf um, foli foliage, 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 I got from Michaels and it's super cute. It's like a light pink and tan. I like it a lot. And then I mixed a couple different banners here. So I have these football ones because we are a football family um, and it just is one of my favorite things about this time of year. I got these at Target in the dollar section. This little fall thing I've had for a few years and I actually got this from the dollar store. And then these little lights are from Marshalls, which I think I need to put some more batteries in them because they're pretty dim. Um, then over here, this little corner, I just kind of changed this around today, so I'm still working on it. But this pillow actually matches these leaves and vases. So it coordinates when you're looking at it from afar. This little pumpkin Brandon got for me. I've been looking everywhere for blue pumpkins and he got me this one at Grocery Outlet. And then up here we have a cute little candle jar and a white pumpkin. So I will take you to my front porch before I show you my living room. You're gonna get a sneak peek um, if you can see behind me. But I'm gonna take you outside real quick. Okay, let me turn you around. Okay, so this is my porch and we are needing to get new concrete because it's starting to separate from the house. How scary, right? Um, I think this corner is sinking. But anyway, so I layered these two rugs and I thought it was cute. I found it on Pinterest. All these two orange pumpkins are from my garden and then those white ones we got in Apple Hill. But then we have this thing and oh my gosh, look how massive and beautiful this thing is. It's gorgeous. And then up on our door, we have this really cute wreath that I actually made with a couple girlfriends. So there we go. Now, if we go inside, there's Abby. <laughs> she looks so cute. Okay, I've got a little towel here with some pumpkins on it. But in my living room, I usually don't have this orange pillow. So I did that and then I am burning a white caramel cold brew candle in this little pumpkin iron thing. This year coffee smells are really like my thing for fall. I'm not sure why, but I love them. And then I just took, like I just took off a big piece of furniture that we had mounted up on this wall because I stepped back and I think one of the screws was coming out because it was crooked. So we have a little nephew and I didn't want him to pull on it and to, it to fall on him because he's it was really big. So I'm gonna be touching those holes up. But for now, I used this little table that I had and I put this little fall blanket on it to kind of cozy it up a little bit. And then <laughs> this is also from my garden. I got this one, this little guy at Trader Joe's and that little guy at Rayleigh's. And then I have this little um, vase with these little cotton things. And I think at these ones, I got these at Marshall's. So yeah, it's cozy with this little light for now. It's not like exactly how I would want it, but it works. And then over here, I have this chair with the little happy fall pillow. The chalkboard needs to be repainted. I used chalkboard pen and I can't actually get the New Year's decor off of it. But anyway, for right now, we have this. I wrote Cozy Nights and Autumn Spice and then this cute little Be Grateful sign. So I'm planning on taking this down and painting this whole thing. So I might have an updated fall chalkboard for you soon because it either needs something down here on the bottom to balance it out, but I don't wanna do that yet until I paint the whole thing. So
it's a little bit later today and I told you I'd tell you what I'm do what I did tonight. So I got myself some Taco Bell. I get a crunch wrap with no sour cream and I sub beans for beef and um, hot sauce. So I'm gonna have this. I am going to put on some cozy clothes and then I'm going to snuggle up on this couch and watch a movie. I'm not sure what I'm gonna watch yet. I'm thinking maybe Friends or if I can find something um, fun to watch, I will do that. So anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. So it is Wednesday today and I have a couple errands to run today. Um, I'm gonna go get myself a cup of coffee because I'm hoping that I get a few of my deliveries today, which I'm crossing my fingers about. So I will show you that when I get home. And for right now, I'm gonna go grab myself a coffee and um, run a couple errands. Back home from my day and I picked up a couple things at the grocery store that I wanted to show you. So I got these pumpkin spice bagels and they're the top. Thomas brand. These are my favorite ones. Love them so much. And then I got some candy corn. We like to put these on popcorn um, or in popcorn. It's really good. You should try it. And then only one of my packages came today from Sephora. Okay, so there is a Laura Mercier Flawless on the Go kit. And then what I ordered was this Fenty Beauty um, lip gloss. I ordered this one. Oh, weird. It's like, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. It's like kind of breaking apart. Oh, that's pretty. It's pretty for fall. So I got that. This is the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb and it is in color Fenty Glow, I think. Fenty Glow. So that's what I ordered that. And then I got this Smashbox Full Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I heard that this was really, really good. Let's see if I got the right color. Oops. That goes. Oh my gosh. It feels like that little tiny drop how far that blended out. Yeah, I think that might work out. Okay. We're going to try it when I don't have makeup on tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere, which is why I just did that to my face. But this is supposed to be really good. I can already tell it's like super soft and I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested to see what this looks like without um, any makeup already on my face. That's what I got. I am going to continue this vlog into tomorrow because I have a few more things coming that I want to show you and then we will probably sign off tomorrow and pick up again with another vlog if you guys liked this style more laid back video. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of this channel. We are 200 and growing, so yay! Thank you guys all for your support and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it is Friday morning. Um, I just woke up. I did a face mask last night, so like all of my little pigmentation spots are like really dark this morning. I don't know if those will fade down, but either way, I wanted to show you um, the things that I picked up from QVC and um, HSN because I got an order and some of the stuff's really exciting. So the first thing I got is Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser by Philosophy. And right now it has all of these cute little like foil things on it. This comes with a pump, which is really cute too. It has like a gold top. It's a good sturdy pump. I love this brand Perlier. It's a really like high end um, without like the super high end price tag. Um, hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Perlier is a really like high end body care um, brand and I love all their products, but it doesn't have like the super, super high end price tag. They're still pretty expensive, but I, <laughs> I love their body washes. So I thought I would pick one up 
Look how big this thing is. This is 101 ounces. Just for comparison, let me show you it next to the philosophy thing. Okay, so this is huge. Now, I really like the smell of this. This is the honey meal, and it's really gorgeous, um, the product inside. But I think I'm going to return it because look at this pump for this little bottle. Like, it needs to be pretty solid because of how big it is. This is the pump that came with this huge bottle. Like, it's... It's just, I don't know, it just feels cheap, and this was expensive. This was like $90, so I don't really want to have it because the pump is just... It just feels like such a luxury product that I just want the packaging to match it, and plus it doesn't sit... I'll show you guys in my bathroom. Um, I have like a ledge that I put all of my um, body washes and face washes on, and it doesn't fit on there, so... This thing like doesn't fit at all. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna return it and probably get a couple seasonal um, ones of this. By the way, these Philosophy body washes, <clears throat> sorry, my cold feels like it's coming back. Um, it's shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. And this cinnamon chai one is like my new favorite. I also really like the pumpkin icing one, as you can tell. But um, I, I think this is my new favorite scent. The last, the last clip I did didn't have any sound. Oh, good. Yeah. So I wanted to tell you guys about the foundation that I tried the Smashbox one. I couldn't get it to work. I don't, I tried like a ton of different techniques. I did different primers. I did different brushes. I even tried putting it on with my fingers and I just couldn't get it to work. It really was cakey and then it where my pores are larger it's separated so I actually returned it if you guys like it and have a better technique let me know maybe I'll try it again in the future but my favorite foundation combo right now is the L'Oreal infallible plus the wet and wild one I will put it in a link below I talked about both of those in a different video so go check that out also again if you haven't subscribed I'd love to have you and yeah we're going to Reno we're gonna have a fun weekend may do a little shopping I might vlog it so we will just see what happens but I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you in my next video bye